Just dropped the food off with Zach Miller. Had the opportunity to sit down and have an awesome training talk with him. Hopefully you guys like it. What's your advice for people training for their first 50K? Hmm, first 50K. Uh, probably, it depends what background you're coming from. If you're coming from like a marathon background and you're kind of used to kind of a higher volume already, um, you can probably take your marathon training and just kind of tweak it. Um, so maybe make your long run a little longer or instead of just doing one long run a week, do like two back-to-back -back long runs. Um, the rest of the stuff can probably stay pretty similar in terms of workouts and everything. Um, maybe just a little bit more emphasis on strength. Um, and then what, what's your advice on, on getting some speed in your, uh, your results? Like a 50 yeah. miler, how do you actually, uh, how would I go about training to pick up speed for that extra Yeah, distance. I think, I think there's, I think there's kind of three big areas for improvement. Like, so one is just like dialing in your nutrition. Um, I mean, not just like your day-to-day -day nutrition, but your race day nutrition specifically. So go out and practice your race day nutrition during your training runs. That way everything, race day just kind of goes really smoothly. Uh, like. If you fuel well, you can run like a lot faster than than you're used to. Um, and then the other two things would be, um, I guess, I guess for like 50 milers because they're pretty long. Um, make sure your strength's really good. Um, so just do like I don't know, like I do a lot of climbing. I just do things that are hard. Um, like some people here in the springs, maybe they like. They like to avoid the Manitou incline just because it hurts and it's hard, but it's like it's usually stuff like that that builds a lot of strength. I know Jared Hazen ran really well the year he started using the incline a lot. Um, so just really work on that strength, and then because that strength translates into speed, and then um, and then efficiency. Um, so just becoming a more efficient runner, and you develop that partly just by running a lot and staying consistent, but also through like doing workouts like like faster workouts so, so will you will you do those how many times per week will you do those i'll only do like um two workouts a week usually uh like i'll run every day but i do two like focused workouts a week um and they vary sometimes sometimes it's like stuff that's um you know really really hard uh, intervals like on the incline or something where the pace is actually egregiously slow but the heart rate is incredibly high. It's uh, like short bursts at really high heart rate with rest in between. Um, other stuff is like maybe like a long tempo on rolling terrain um, where you're just you're not your heart rate's maybe not as high but you're you're getting it to you know maybe you're running up around like 75 to 85 um, percent and you're holding that for, you know, I don't know, whatever, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, maybe up to an hour or so some days. Um, and then, uh, let's see. And then you might have some days that are just like flat and fast on super runnable terrain, like shorter intervals where it's like, instead of doing like a slow pace at a high heart rate, you're doing actually like a fast pace at a fast heart rate. Um, and just kind of mixing all those different things. You know, like, what's what's your longest long run going into mm, like a UTMB or a Hard Rock? Uh, like a UTMB or a Hard Rock. I don't really uh, miles. Like I'd say I'd I'd probably end up with some runs that are in the 30s somewhere, like 35 to like maybe I don't, I don't usually go to 40. I, you know, I might do like a 35 or 38 mile run, but usually it's more just like, uh, it's more based on like time or certain routes. It's like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to like, I'm going to like go up Pikes Peak from the east side and then I'm going to go down the west side and then come back up and yeah. over again and like do different like coolars and 
um, steep climbs and stuff in it. And maybe I'm just out for like eight to 10 hours, you know? Yeah. Um, do you but, target elevation gain or is that like, I don't never enter your mind. Track it. Um, I just kind of like, I might just say, Hey, I'm going to climb a lot today. So I'm going to like, I'm going to go up from the cabin and I'm going to like climb around in the coolers and I'm going to go up the steep trails and basically my whole run's just going to either be up or down. Um, yeah. I don't really say I need this certain amount of vert. Um, it's awesome. It's, man. yeah, it, there isn't really a vert number targeted. There's just more like, you know, maybe I'm going to, I'm just going to do a lot of climbing today. So I pick up route with a lot of climbing and then another day, maybe, maybe I'm going to run for three hours, but I want all almost all of it to be pretty runnable so i go out and find like kind of more rolling trails that yeah. are very technical and i just and i just kind of cruise for a long time i got two other just quick mm -hmm. questions i appreciate you taking the time <laughs> yeah. um your favorite food uh i i love bananas <laughs> which you brought me today which is awesome um, that worked out nicely <laughs> yeah aside from that i really like um uh I like like steak and ribs. <laughs> okay. I'm a sucker for red meat. And then last question: What's your advice for someone who's just thinking about their first, just first race, first mm -hmm. ultra, first hundred? Do you have any like advice on the mental aspect? Uh, just any general advice? Um. Well, tra training wise, it's usually it's largely about just being consistent. You know, day in, day out, you're always getting the work in. You know, whether you know whether you have time for two hours or three hours or you know 30 minutes. Um, yeah. The point is that you're out there on a consistent basis, getting something in. Um, and then from a mental standpoint, it's just like it kind of goes with the consistency. Like just kind of like no excuses. Like um, you know, if it rains, if it snows, if it's windy, you know, if you have to do it in or you have to do it outside, you just always got to get it in. And awesome. you just build that mental toughness of like you don't give your op yourself the option of of not doing it. It might be done in a slightly different way, but you always get get something done. And same in a race, like you don't you don't give yourself the the option of not finishing. Or I mean, some days you have to, but like for the most part, like you know, you just once you quit once, it's easier to quit again. <laughs> so you yeah, just try not to. Exactly. I appreciate your time. Oh, you bet. <laughs> All right, he's headed out. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good one.